Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so last time we showed you a farm box that we got. If you recall, there was some okra in there. We happen to love okra. We do. We know not everybody does. They don't. Because it can be kind of icky, slimy. Slimy. Mushy. Yeah. Gelatinous. We discovered with this recipe that we're going to share with you that there's a trick <laughs> to making okra and knots uh, slimy. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. We're going to cook for you and share our recipe. tip for prepping that okra to make it not slimy and weird. Uh, first thing, you need to rinse everything uh, and, and cut the tops off of all the okra. You can kind of see from this photo how slimy the okra actually is, and I can tell you by the time we ate it, it was not like this. So we chop, chop the tops off, get them in a bowl, toss it with two to three teaspoons of salt and two to three teaspoons of uh, cider vinegar. Okay. Now this is the important part. Let it sit for two hours. Um, when you're, you're finally ready to cook, rinse them off and dry them. Uh, and then they're, they're ready to go into the recipe. The other ingredients you'll need are an onion and a couple cloves of garlic, some oil to cook it in, a little bit of sugar, some dried red chilies and coriander seeds. You're going to need the juice of a lemon, uh, and some preserved lemon. Uh, and you'll also need something that's not here, uh, some tomatoes, either a can of chopped tomatoes or, um, or some fresh tomatoes will work as well. So get the onion chopped up, do the same thing for the garlic and chop up the chilies. You'll want to de-seed them first. We just kind of took the tops off and ran them under some water to get the seeds out of there. Um, or, you know, not go for it. It's, it's your meal. So, uh, we're going to take half of one of those preserved lemons uh, if you are unfamiliar with this, like we were when we first started making these sorts of recipes, um, you can normally find this in like a Persian market or maybe in the uh, international aisle of your grocery store uh, or on Amazon. We've actually bought them online before as well. So get about a tablespoon of oil heating in a pan, uh, throw everything that we chopped except for the preserved lemons. So we have the onions, garlic, the chilies. Uh, we're going to throw some coriander seeds in there. Uh, and the sugar, uh, get it, get it cooking, let it cook for about five minutes. And then we're going to throw the okra in. All right. At this stage, we also add the juice from the lemon and the tomatoes. Uh, we used about half a can of a 14 ounce, uh, can of tomatoes. Um, but it could have definitely used more if you, if you feel like it. Uh, so get all that mixed together, let it cook for about uh, five to 10 minutes covered, just let it kind of steep away. And then when it comes out, toss it with the chopped preserved lemon and that preserved lemon adds just such a glorious flavor to it. We made some saffron rice and some uh, lentils. We'll, we'll put in the description what exactly we did there, uh, but that's our meal. So let's see how we did. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Finally get to sit down to our delicious meal. This is the okra that we received in our uh, farmhouse delivery this week. So uh, you watched us put it together and now you get to watch us enjoy it. Wish you could be here to smell the aromas. It's delicious. It smells fantastic. All right, so here we go. I already started. That's <laughs> how things roll around here. Oh man, that's good. Mm. Wow, it's really delicious. Tell you what, we're gonna throw the recipe up. Uh, if you make it, let us know what you think. Uh, and really, you've gotta make it. It is delicious. Very good. Get yourself some okra and enjoy. Interesting side note. Growing up, I did not know that there was any way to eat okra other than <laughs> chopped up, battered, and fried. <laughs> fried, so, fried to oblivion. <laughs> it's delicious. But this is also quite delicious. Thanks for joining us today. I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, please comment. If you, uh, if you try the recipe, let us know what you think. Let us know what you did different. Uh, really looking forward to uh, hearing all about it. And remember, no matter what we do, wherever we go, it's always an adventure with you.